journey with me and it's hardly right. You heal my pain every night that I cried. Hey guys. Ooh. Hi guys. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, um time. Good morning. Somebody said, let me see you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Welcome back. Thank you, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I want to just jump right into it. I don't know how I'm going to answer so many questions and talk about so many things in such a short space of time. But um, I believe that before anything, I owe you guys an ex a, a conversation and a conversation that's long overdue. And so I just want to jump into it and to get certain things out there and we can chit chat a little bit and go through everything. I know it's been a long while and I wanted you to know that I didn't purposely disappear. I didn't purposely, um, was not coming on live. I know you guys love to see me on live and it feels good to be on live. But before I go any further, I just want to give God all the glory and all the honor, all the thanks and all the praise for this moment, for this beautiful day, um, for joining us back together in, in life, you know? Um, all right. So where do I start from? There's so many things to talk about. There's so many questions, so many concerns, and I don't even know where to start, to be honest, but I'm just going to be led by the Holy Spirit. Um, so let's rewind to last year. Let us go back in time a little bit. Um, last year, October, As you all know, I came off of Instagram because I felt targeted. I feel like everybody was kind of waking up every day trying to talk about me. And um, there was just sense of burden that came over me. Like, everything is spice. Every day I spice. Everything happened. I just me. Like, you know, I was being targeted. And so I came off of Instagram. And I, I remember telling you guys Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from last year, October. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this moment for myself to kind of rejuvenate, heal. I was going through a lot of health issues um, that I want to kind of walk you guys through. Because sometimes we're on Instagram and because we see people laughing, we feel like, oh, they're happy. Not every laugh means happy. And um, I just want to be open. I want to be vulnerable. I want to be used by God to educate women on this tragic situation that I've been through. I, um, I've never come on live not knowing what I'm going to say. Yes, I'm scared. Yes, I'm afraid. Yes, I, because you see, I know that at the end of this live, you know, matter what me say, you know, matter what me explain, you know, matter what me tell you, no, there's still going to be people that's going to have their own opinion, still going to be people that's going to probably laugh, that's going to drag me, that's going to bash me, that's going to do whatever. But at the end of the day, this life is not about them. It's about me and people who genuinely love and care for me. And so I want to take this time out to say last year, if you had prayed for me, if you had genuinely prayed for me last year, Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to even start there. You know, I want to start with God. I want to give him the glory. I want to give him all the thanks, all the praise. I want to acknowledge that there is a God. I want to acknowledge that Jesus is king. I want to acknowledge that I'm standing here by the grace of God. And I want to acknowledge that your prayers worked. If you prayed for me, if you was concerned, thank you. I appreciate you all because it's been a rough journey. So let us just go back and um, walk you through the journey. Um, so 
my health issue that I was having, I want to see if I know how to use this as best as possible because I want to also include photos in this live just so that you can understand what I was going through. Um, now let me see. How do I go? Camera roll. Um, how do I find the photos? Okay. All right, so I can't find the, hold on. I want to be very vulnerable and I want to show you everything. So let me go into this collage. As you all know, because it's no secret, I had um, procedures done before. I did liposuction and I had a tummy tuck done. This is a picture of my real stomach. Um... I was suffering from something called fibrosis and fibrosis is something that you get lumps in your belly, you know? So because of my past surgeries that I did before, I had something called fibrosis and it's when you don't get your lymphatic massages done. So you get lumps in your belly. So this was what my real stomach looked like. But to be honest, I love myself like with my flaws and all, it wasn't really bothering me. It was like neither here nor there for me. Um, I went about my day and it started to affect me when it started showing up in my outfits. Choose a different asset. Stop sharing. Okay. Yeah, just, just bear with me, guys. I just want to be vulnerable with you guys. And I want to be open and honest. And so that's what I was going through. And like I said, it never bothered me until it started to show up into my outfits. And so... This is what it would look like in my clothing. If you zoom this picture, I'm zooming my own self. Okay, hold on. I can't zoom the picture. But if you look and you notice, it shows up through my clothes. And so the lumps started to get painful. Um, in this picture, that was like the real reality of what my stomach looked like. All right? Um... So sometimes when I see people on Instagram and because them can't use up and because them can't smooth out and so it doesn't mean that everything is okay. So that was the picture of what I was going through. And let me continue. So I decided to go to the DR because a lot of people was like, oh, why she wouldn't go to Miami? Why she go to America? Why she go to DR? I chose to go to the DR because I feel like I was more popular in America. And because obviously because of the same thing that happened when the things hit the internet, I was trying to avoid that. So I go to DR because of course, you know, it's a Spanish speaking country. So, you know, I wanted to consult to find out what was really wrong with me or what you know, why my stomach was looking like that, why I was feeling pain, why I was getting lumps in the stomach. All right. So that was what I was going through. Um, while I was in the DR, as you know, when you get a breast implant, well, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm wrong for saying that because I don't think everybody knows. So let me say, I don't think you know, but when you get a breast implant, it only has 10 year lifespan. Is there something wrong with the mic? You, you not hear me? Are you guys hearing me? I'm hearing. Check your internet. Hold on. Let me check it. Hold on. Pause due to cut. Is that better, guys? Let me know if you're hearing me. Because uh, I want to take a deep breath and I want to just um, get this off of my chest and get this out of the way. So are you guys hearing me? It said frozen. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I cover the microphone. All right, let me hold the, hold the phone in my hand. Is this better? I didn't want to hold the, um, the phone in my hand, but you say I'm covering up the microphone. I can hear you, speaker. Lisa Mercedes, you're there bright and early. Oh, I forgot to say England, you're there. <laughs> she said, yes, that's good now. You're good. Okay. Okay. Amara La Negra. I love you, sis. Oh, big up herself, Amara. My sister, Fanny, so that must step on you. Big up, Fen. All right. So... Um, okay. Yeah. You guys can hear me. Where was I now? What did I say? Okay. So that was what I was going through through my stomach. So let me fast forward to when I went to the DR. So I went to the DR, I got my, um, implants changed. And when I got my implants changed, I was consulting about my stomach and they did 
a mild procedure because you know it's fibrosis so there's nothing it was a very mild procedure and i was there i was told to stay back for like a couple of days. So I was on vacation. I was doing fine. My ticket was booked to go back to Jamaica. I was doing well. Like, well, as far as I thought, I was doing well. I was walking around. I want to share something else. Stop sharing. Um, Jesus, I said that's something I had for you. Anyway, guys, this, can I share videos or no? I can't share videos. This is crazy. It's the one I want. This is me on Michael! Woo! <laughs> I can't share videos. That's amazing. Get it, Michael! So I was Woo! on vacation and I was chilling on the beach. I was doing good. As you see, I see Michael Jackson at DR. I'm excited. And I was just relaxing on the beach. And I was booked. I booked to go back to Jamaica. However, I ate something and I um I started vomiting. I started throwing up. But to be honest, everybody that knows me knows that when I travel, I always bring my local Jamaican food, my bread, and my this and my that and my that. Guys, I am on live and you are aware. If you have my number, please don't call me. This is a moment that I need to just explain and you know kind of update my fans. So if you have my number, if you're calling me, I go black out the live, obviously. You don't need to call me. You see that I'm on live. These people crazy. All right. So yeah, I was on vacation and I started vomiting. I started throwing up. So the vomit became very alarming to me because it, it, it wouldn't stop. So out of concern, the surgeon that I know over there, and my friends actually, big up to my friends over there, they called the doctor and they was like, no man, something is wrong with Grace. Like, can you come and check it out or whatever, whatever. When he came, to be honest, when I went there, let me go back a little bit. When I went there and I did my consult with my stomach, he was like, he asked me if I had a hernia because he noticed there was a bulge right at my belly button there or to the, if you look back on the picture, like long story short, I was like, no, I was like, not that I'm aware of or whatever, but obviously they did the procedure and he never see nothing, you know, wrong. And the reason why he never see anything wrong was I want to get to that. I want to take time and explain my story was because the hernia was at my side. Um, and so when they did the procedure to the front to do your breasts, they had no reason to do um, scans to the side. And so he didn't see that I have a, a, a hernia. So long story short, to just fast forward quickly, I vomiting. I went to the doctor. Um... And he was very concerned when he touched my stomach. I was in a, like feeling a lot of pain and I kept vomiting. I kept throwing up. I couldn't keep nothing down. It just repeatedly vomiting. And so he called and um, at the day when I went, it was a Sunday. And so there wasn't no body there to do like the MRI and stuff. Let me go back in the phone again. Because I want to share, me want to share everything. Okay. So he called an ambulance. That's me when I was in the ambulance. All right. Um, he called an ambulance to take me to another hospital, yeah? Because the one that he worked when I went there, it was a Sunday. And so he was like, I don't like how you're vomiting. I don't like your, you know, the feeling in your stomach. We need to rush you to the hospital and we need to do an MRI. Um, that was when I was going to the hospital, in the ambulance and i was in the hospital that was when i was being rushed to the hospital in an ambulance okay so let's get off this picture now and stop sharing so after they rushed me to the hospital they did an mri you know that big machine then pushed me through the the mri machine and i can vividly remember when they came back with the results while i was in the hospital and i saw different like doctors and surgeons coming into the room. I can vividly remember the look on their faces like something was wrong. I remember I, I took, I took up my phone and I called my sister and I was crying. Like I was, I went ballistic because them over there, them not talk English, them speak Spanish. So most of them did that, did that talk Spanish. But you, you know, when you can't see somebody facial expression, looking back at it and when i what i went through i can say that it's like them i look upon me like not dying or crying or in you know 
like how she just lie down there so because what they found in the MRI scan was that I had a hernia. I want to explain this properly. I'm sorry I couldn't put down the phone. But what they found was that I had a hernia to my side and my intestines went through the hernia. My sister sent me a picture. I wonder if we can find it on WhatsApp, Lord Jesus. Who child? They poked through my, my intestines was going through the hernia. Because, you know, the hernia is a space in the muscle. And so what I was told was that my intestines was going through that little space that I had in the side, which is the hernia. And it erupted. But thank God that I had the hernia because it erupted on the outside of, uh, outside of my muscle wall. I don't know if I'm even saying it correctly. The, the intestines erupted outside of that hernia muscle wall. And so if, if I didn't have the hernia, which is that space in the muscle, like that hole, the intestine would have erupted inside of me. If I'm not saying it correctly, I apologize. I'm just trying to be as accurate as all the doctors explained it to me. But when the intestines erupted it started to poison my body and it sent me into a sepsis shock and the sepsis is the poisoning that sepsis kills a lot of people and that's i'm just so grateful i'm so grateful to be here to be alive to be talking to you i'm so grateful for this day i'm so grateful to god so the sepsis very graphic um I'm sorry, but I want to just get this off. I want to share everything. I just want to be vulnerable. I want to be used by God. I want to share my testimony. I want to show you what God did for me. Jesus is king. And I just believe that I need to highlight that. I need to showcase that. I need to show you how good God is. And so that's what I woke up to. I'm excited. A lot of weight, but I'm still good. New, new. New, new song is coming soon.